One area to consider is sometimes after breast surgery, we find that things aren't perfectly symmetric afterwards. Our goal is always to make it as close as we can, and there's always a limit of how close we can get it, but a lot of times there's a little improvement that could happen, and we need to talk about the different techniques that can be used to get you there. One issue is the position of the implant on the chest wall. Very often, one will be higher than the other or one lower than the other. Um, if we're trying to raise an implant up, it requires actually putting stitches in along the lower fold of the, the capsule of the implant to raise that pocket up to allow the implant to sit in a higher position. If we're trying to lower an implant, then we have to incise the capsule or the scar tissue around the implant, possibly remove some of that scar tissue and allow the implant to drop to a lower position. Now, usually that's all we need to do to kind of improve uh, the position, but sometimes that scar tissue isn't reliable and won't necessarily hold where we put it to. In those situations, we sometimes have to add in some prosthetic material or a biological mesh to help reinforce your tissue to keep it in the right position. If that's necessary, it is a costly endeavor, but if it's the only thing that's gonna help you get to where you wanna go, it's probably worth it. In the long run, it depends on what your specific asymmetries are, and that's something that needs to be evaluated by a board-certified plastic surgeon with experience in this area.